So this is a sample of our no-till soil of our first year using no-till. We can see lots of big wormholes, but it's still very cloddy and fairly hard to break, which is why most farmers run a cultivator for it and do it mechanically. But what we're hoping for is that all the biology are going to do it for us. The reason for no-till is to leave the soil undisturbed so that the soil health can increase, but the changeover can take quite some time, um, which is why we're giving it at least five years so that the farmers can see if it does actually work for themselves. After those five years, I'm hoping to see a lot healthier soil and hopefully producing better yields. We won't be using so much fuel to bring our costs down as well. The exciting thing about this project is Thames Water is taking the risk by funding the inputs, which means that the farmers can try it without worrying too much if they're going to be you know, losing a lot of money because they're trying it on their own. Working together has been really good. We're learning from each other, especially with our WhatsApp group. Oh, I need to ask a question, I'll put it on there, and you get a group discussion. In farming, you feel very isolated, and having these sort of groups, you get amongst people and discuss things, it's a lot of help. They've got the scientific support, but the independence of being their own masters, if you like, um, which I think farmers are much better at anyway. I think farmers are great at innovative things, you know, we ought to have more say of what we ought to be doing. We can put all our ideas together and learn from three fields instead of one. Mm -hmm.